everybody, welcome back to another part of The Sims 3 Single Mom. Um, uh, Alicia. We got a letter for Hector from Alicia. I know this is coming out of nowhere, but I think you should take a chance on me. I'm a lot of fun, and I think we'd be great together. Bitch, first of all, you're old. He's got three kids and two stepkids. Like, just leave him alone. Goodbye. Goodbye, Alicia. Goodbye. Um... <laughs> Tony is on the way to work. Hector is just getting up and he's going to take care of the two little ones. Belair is eating some breakfast before school. Raven, I'm going to need you to like, hold on. I'm going to need you to get down here faster, please, so you can eat. Um, Drew was up super late. He did finish learning how to drive. I don't remember if that happened in this part or the last part, but he did finish learning how to drive, which is awesome. Wait, I'm like 90% sure. Let me triple check because how embarrassing if I'm sitting here like, oh, I'm so impressed with him. He learned how to drive and then he didn't. Okay. Why is this ball on the parking thing? Okay, yeah, so Drew did learn how to drive, so he is still pretty tired, so he's going to sleep up until the school bus comes. I'm going to change the weather to sunny just because the rain is super annoying. I'm sorry. Um, I did turn aging off. It'll just be a second before it turns off. And, yeah, Hector's going to go get the babies. I don't really know what the plan is for today. I think maybe... Maybe we'll start to teach Blair how to drive. I don't know how far we'll get. I also want to have Gina come over because that's Drew's girlfriend and I feel like we haven't seen her in a really long time. You need to get your booty upstairs. All right, so the older kids are going off to school. All is good. The house is so much easier to control when there's less kids. I cannot believe I'm seriously considering up to three more kids. <laughs> Because it's such a crazy house already. I just want to do the aging again. Sometimes I have to do it twice for it to actually kick in, so. Yeah, I cannot believe I'm literally considering possibly three more children. Like, I'm insane. But it's fun. Being insane is fun. All right. <clears throat> and also, I think I want... Um, I think I want Raven and Drew to possibly go to their father's house tonight. I want some drama to go down. I know I keep saying like, oh, we'll get to him, we'll get to him, we'll get to him, and I never do. But once Raven is a teenager is when we're really going to get to it because Drew is going to hate their father and Raven is going to love their father. And I think it's going to cause some tension between the two of them. Um, and one of you guys gave me a really good idea for when Raven is a teenager and like her and Drew drew and stuff I don't want to ruin it just in case you guys don't really know what I'm talking about but yeah so there's that I'm gonna go ahead and wake Asher up because I don't need him to sleep all freaking day because then he's not gonna sleep all night I'm gonna change his diaper not change his diaper twice please actually let's go ahead and snuggle him and toss him in the air and then we will are you serious why can't I use that? Is there a reason I can't use that? I'm so confused. Why can't I use that? Maybe I can't use it for her. Maybe I can only use it for him. I don't know. Let me see. Okay. For some reason, I'm not allowed to use that. That's really freaking annoying. Maybe it's because the toy box is in the way. I really don't know, but we're just going to go ahead and feed him on the floor so I don't have to worry with the whole bringing him upstairs, bringing him downstairs, bringing him back up after he eats. Like, it's just, it's too much. It's too much. Sorry, my cat's trying to get on my desk and he's trying to drink my coffee. What a jerk. All right, Hector, finally getting to take care of yourself at like 10 p.m. even though you've been up since 6.30. What is dirty in here? The peanut butter and jelly. I think when Tony gets home from work, I'm just going to have her cook a bunch so we can have some food in our inventory because we got nothing. We literally have cake. <laughs> That's it. We got cake. What are the dogs up to? Joy, why don't you stop sleeping? It's freaking 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. You don't need to be asleep still. What? Oh, we have a pool. I was like, where did this bitch go? I'm like, whose pool did you go to? I honestly forget that we have this stuff. I really do. 
Is it seriously summer? I feel like it should be winter. Why is it summer? I don't know. Maybe I'm just in the wrong game, but I swear it should be winter. Okay, this freaking aging needs to kick off any time now. Any freaking time. Write an article and bring it to work to improve, to earn a performance increase. We're actually not going to do that because Friday should actually be her last day working this job. I do still want her to work hard. I mean, if she could get a promotion before she quits, that would be awesome. That would give us a bunch more money. But I'm going to have her... Um, and I know I said before that I was going to have her go to college on Friday and then turn aging off on, back on on Friday, but I actually think I'm going to push it to Saturday because I want Raven to have a sleepover when she's still a child, so I'm going to do that tomorrow night because I want her to do it on a non-school night. So I'm actually going to have you meet new friends, as many people as you can bring. It will be awesome. And I'm going to have both of them talk to their friends. All right, he's still working on his bit. You better put him down upstairs. I swear to God, Hector. Don't go don't go to those damn stairs. This little bitch ass. I swear to God, put him down upstairs. You annoying little beach. Now I have to reset up all of that shiznits that I had. Hector is so annoying. Um, what do you guys think about moving to a new house? I know I said before that this was supposed to be our forever house, but it's, I tried to make it small because I have a problem with making my houses way too big. And I think in doing that, I made it too small and it's not really functional for this many people, especially because we are going to be having another, we'll probably adopt a baby. Let's see. If I turn aging back on, on Saturday, Everyone will go up two days by Monday, which would mean she'd only be one day from becoming a toddler. So we'll probably adopt another baby, or not another, we've only had one, but we'll probably adopt a baby on either Monday or Tuesday. And I feel like this house is already cramped with seven. They have five kids, two adults, two dogs, like it's already pretty cramped. So I think I might either like build them a new house or I'll just try and find a bigger house. I know I found I found so many houses for this let's play and then I was like nope I don't want any of them. <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe I'll try and look for one that's a little more spacious or maybe I'll just build one that's a little more spacious. I do love this house though. Like I absolutely love it. I just think it's good for a family of five not seven. It, it's actually a perfect house for a family of five to be honest. Because then you can put all three of the kids upstairs, the parents on the main floor, and then you can, like, knock down these walls and just make this a big, like, extra area, you know? Like, a game room, whatever. Like, that would be perfect, literally perfect for a family of five. Oh, my God, in my current household? Maybe. Any whoosie, <laughs> Hector is going to go ahead and... Take care of the house a little bit, too, because it's kind of gross. Um, yeah, I think he's just going to spend the day probably cleaning, if we're being honest. Because that's what this house really needs, is a nice, good cleaning. Let's see. Just mail. or no, just bills. Okay, I'm not going to pay the bills until I'm forced to. She met Luz. That's a cute name. Okay, so Bobby is supposed to be her best friend. So when she comes over for the sleepover, we got to make them best friends. Oh, Les is cute. Why does she have freaking gray, um, what is that? She's got gray, what is that? What the frick is that called? Roots. That's what they're called. I could not think of roots. I'm an idiot. All right, Aria needs a little diaper change, so we'll come up here and change your diaper. And I guess we'll clean the house from the top to the bottom. I'm sure upstairs doesn't really need anything. Literally one toilet needs to be cleaned and that's it. And maybe we'll do laundry since we're up here. Might as well. Actually one, oh, he doesn't work today, okay. And Tony earned 1,267 simoleons. Is she gonna get a promotion today? Okay, no, she should probably get one tomorrow though. So when Tony gets home, I'm gonna have her do her garden and then cook probably like two to three things. 
uh, just so we can have some some uh, some food in the fridge instead of just cake. Oh, excuse me. Let me see if aging turned. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> aging did turn off. Thank goodness. So yeah, this part is probably going to be a little boring. I apologize for that. But the next part, we're going to have a sleepover with Raven and all her little friends. So that'll be really exciting. All right. Come here and tend your garden. And then you're going to serve up some grilled cheese. And you're going to serve some hamburgers. And you're also going to serve some soup. Actually, I'm going to have her make the grilled cheese first and then tend her garden just to make sure she can. And then we'll do hamburgers and then we'll do soup. Is anyone in this house a vegetarian? I forget. Okay, no one is a vegetarian. We are freaking Gucci. All right, let's put Arya in the crib. We will clean that. Do either of these potty chairs need to be emptied? They both probably do, to be honest. Empty that one, mop up that, empty that one. Is this dog in your way? I swear to God, girl, just no. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Continue fucking cooking, you dumb hoe. You need to get the hell out of here. Get out, you're so annoying. Actually, you need to have some interaction with each other, so why don't you go chase each other around okay hopefully you can still make lunch all right hamburgers and the soup perfect then we'll have a few options for dinner tonight is he did he learn everything from this yet i swear to god he better have he's been a toddler forever i cannot wait to get aging turned back on and get rid of these freaking little ones I love when they're in cribs, but also it's so hard. Oh, he still has like four days though. Oh my gosh. I also might pause aging once Raven becomes a teenager just for a few days because I feel like I feel like I can never get stuff done with the amount of time we have, but also I don't want to up my aging because then like my let's plays would be forever and a half. Like because my, my Sims already, my lifespan is like 102 days, I think. And that's already pretty long. I think the average lifespan that you start with is like 94 or something. So I upped it by like eight days. Which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but like it's actually a lot at the end of the day. Okay, so you both need to get your social up. So you better freaking talk to each other and do it now. Blair and Drew are both on their way home. And I'm actually, since it's really nice out and he is a little bit stressed, I'm going to have him come swim. Maybe we'll like make a big splash and she'll like slide down the water slide or something. Sorry, that's my dog. Okay, seriously. Make a big splash, slide, and then we'll come slide on this. And then you come slide on this and then slide on this. So we'll just get their fun up for a little bit. What are you complaining about? What are you complaining about? Did he just, he just fucking put garbage. Oh my God, I hate him. I hate him. It's because this damn raccoon is at our, ugh, I hate him. Oh my gosh, Raven got on the honor roll. Love that for us. All right, put it down, go get your garden. Girl, come on, why is she so stressed? You're supposed to love cooking. Why are you stressed? All right, put this in the fridge. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh my God, I hate her. I for You know why? These bitches get out of the way. They're blocking the way. They need a new house ASAP. I'm so irritated. Make hamburgers. Why? Why is this lagging? Can we not? Okay, make hamburgers, make the freaking soup. Girl, just knock it off. She's so annoying. Oh my god. I can't with this house. I can't. Okay, 
I moved the freaking dogs outside because they were pissing me off. Oh my gosh. I'm so irritated. I think I got it a little more figured out. Um, we are 1 million percent getting a new house soon. Uh, I want to wait until after, um, what's her name? Tony gets back from college before I do that. But we are a million percent getting a new house. I'm going to have Raven clean up the puddle just a little bit. Uh, I know she's not supposed to be a good kid, but she is supposed to fake it for her parents. She's supposed to just be like rebellious in front of uh, Drew and Blair, basically. I swear to God, these dogs need to stop coming in the fucking house. Get the hell outside. No, get outside. I'm done with both of you. I'm also selling this because I don't want it. Are you kidding me? Why can't I do that? Here lies graduation gnome, he'll be dearly missed. That's my graduation gnome? Oh my god, I'm so upset. I am so upset. Okay, go freaking eat then, oh my god. Oh my gosh, now Arya's screaming. I'm, I'm, I'm so done, so done. All right, your fun is basically all the way up, so go ahead and do your homework. Your fun is basically all the way up to, so do your homework. They're just starting their homework. You cleaned up a little bit so you can do your homework also. Oh my goodness. All right. We're cleaning from bottom to top now. Actually, the top floor is clean, so we're literally just cleaning the bottom floor since he's down here for laundry. Who's complaining about what? I heard someone complaining. Why are you complaining? Just sit down and do your fucking homework, bitch. Do your homework. Pick a different chair, I swear. Pick a different chair. Drew, sit down. Oh my God, I hate him. 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 I actually hate him. Drew, do your fucking homework, I swear to God. Aria, we'll get you in a second. Like, I'm sorry, you just gotta chill. Do your homework. Both the girls are doing their homework. She should be almost done with that. He is so tired. Thank God he didn't have to work today. Come upstairs and take care of Aria. Oh my God, play with her. Give her Tony's like, I ain't got no kids today. None, not one. <laughs> she said, I got no kids. Hector, you got five. I got zero. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Raven's almost done with... Love that. All right. Go play on the playground outside. I feel like that... I spent so much money on their outside stuff, and I feel like it doesn't get utilized. So, kind of upset about it. So, I'm going to make her go play with that. He... Let's see. Is there more laundry to do? Are you shitting me? He didn't even do all the laundry? I'm pissed. Hector, you're going to be up all night. You're all night. I swear to God, you will be up all night cleaning this damn house. Maybe Tony will be nice and um, clean the main floor for you after she makes the hamburgers, though. Oh, she's going to make them in the microwave because we don't have a freaking... That's gross. And I'm actually going to go ahead and... Let's see. She doesn't need to replant anything, so... Lettuce and tomatoes is really all she got. Yeah, because the bell peppers were still saving to plant. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and throw these in the fridge. I'm actually not having her garden to, like, sell it and make money. I want her to garden so we can have ingredients in our fridge without having to buy it. That's the goal. Oh, my gosh. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, you're still playing. You are good. You are taking care of her real quick. Put Arya in the crib. And then you're doing the rest of that damn laundry. Like, I don't know why you didn't do all of it in the first place. Clean up clothes on the lot. Yeah, exactly. Get the clean clothes. And then maybe you can go to bed. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to get to bed after that. All right. When you guys are done with your homework, I'm actually going to have both of them chat it up with their significant others. I know I said I wanted Gina to come over, but that clearly didn't work out. 
And then when she's done making her hamburgers, I'm just going to leave them out for people to eat for dinner tonight. Girl, oh, um, Joy, who's in the way? Joy, move your ass. I swear to God. And then come get this. Oh, she cooks them on the stove. Thank goodness. All right, you need to go to bed. Just get out of here. You need your destruction up. I'm just going to drag both of their social up. I tried to get them to freaking interact, and they just legitimately, like, would not listen to me. It's really frustrating. So we're just going to drag that up and pretend they <laughs> had some interaction. And then you, after you chew a little bit, you can go ahead and eat and then sleep here. I don't even care if the dogs get up at 2 in the morning anymore. Are you... Do the mother freaking laundry, you dumb bitch. I swear to God. Your sim is too tired. You're joking. I hate you. Hector, I actually hate you. You're worthless. He did so much today, and I'm like, you're worthless. He did everything. Tony literally did nothing for her children or her house except for cooking. And Hector did everything, and I'm like, Hector, you're worthless love that for me all right you're not like super hungry but I am gonna have you eat and then you'll shower and crap and then you're just going to bed we did not clean the main floor of the house at all maybe one of the kids would be super nice and do it for you no promises though all right you can go ahead and grab a plate when you're done you can come inside and grab a plate you can also grab a plate when you're done. Oh, God. Someone's got to take care of the babies. I forgot about the babies. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Let me just take care of Raven first. I love Raven. Raven's probably my favorite. Take a bath really quickly and then go to bed. Okay. So she's good. Homework's done. Eat, shower, bed. She's good. You need a diaper change. You need to come use this real quick and then crawl out here. So when we're ready to feed you on the floor, we can do that. I feel like she's going to get done with her phone call and eating first. So I'm going to have her feed him on the floor. And then she will come change Arya's diaper. And then she will put Asher in the crib. So that should take care of that. Hector said, I ain't got no kids no more. I don't know. I don't know what kids are. Not mine. I could never. <laughs> and Tony said same. I haven't even looked at my babies today. She literally has not seen her two youngest at all today. Not once. She didn't even see them. For all she knows, they could be dead. Except for the fact that you can hear Arya screaming. But either way, um, nice job. Paranormal problems are no match for you. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god, she's still a freaking tinkerer. I love that. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so stressful. It's 10 p.m. and our babies aren't in bed yet. Do you have an imaginary friend you can play with? Okay, yeah. Play with Dolly while you wait. I swear. Girl, just go to bed. Just go to bed. Just go to bed. Just go to bed. Just go. Just go. Why did he not sit at the one open spot? I'm Confucia. I know you're tired. Just go. Just go. Okay. Drew, you need to clean this up. You need to put the hamburgers away. And I'm going to just send you straight to bed, honestly. Blair can be the one who showers and stuff. She needs it worse than you do anyways, I think. Yeah, I mean, not terribly worse, but she does need it worse than you. All right, let's freaking do this. Aria, you actually need to wake up, sweetie, because I need you to sleep through the night. Raven's like, just now getting in the bath. It's 11 p.m. Love my parents. They're so good at their job. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, go get Aria. Oh, wait, I forget. I got to make sure she puts Aria in the right crib. Okay, so then you will, hello, put Aria in the crib. And then you'll pick up Asher. Okay, she's good. This is so stressful. Why do I want another kid? But the thing is, by the time um, we do get around to adopting another kid, Asher will be a child, so he will no longer be in a crib. 
So that will help a lot. We'll still only have two in a crib at a time. So it's okay. That is always my goal when having kids. Like I love to have my kids close in age in The Sims. But as long as I, unless I have twins, I try to not have any more than two in a crib at a time. Because it's just, it's hard. It's really hard. But everyone is basically in bed. So I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, in the next part, I might skip most, not mo all of the morning. I might skip a little bit of the morning and then pick up more towards the afternoon because Raven is going to have a sleepover with a bunch of friends. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this part, give it a thumbs up. I know it was a little bit boring and kind of hectic, but the next part is going to be really exciting. So go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. And yeah, I will see all of your lovely, lovely faces. Whose damn phone is ringing? I swear to God. <laughs> In my next video. Bye guys. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why?